Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am starting a new series on my channel. I'm super, super excited. I haven't seen anybody do this series, so let me know if you've heard of somebody that does do it. But I'm making it up as of right now in my own head because I've never seen anybody do it. So I am labeling this the Bob series, and the Bob series is Beauties on a Budget. I know there's supposed to be an A in there, but that doesn't flow, right? And I thought it was cute that it was called Bob because I call my cat Kitty Bob or Bob all the time. <laughs> so you guys know you've seen my cat in tons of my videos. But anyways, his name is Mantis. We call him Kitty Bob or Bob. I don't know how that goes together, but it does somehow. But I thought it would be cute to call this Bob series and that's beauties on a budget so if you guys want to see what i'm doing for this series then just keep on watching i am going to be trying to spend less money this year on any kind of beauty products whether that's hair care products samples makeup lipstick face powder shower gel whatever it is any kind of beauty products i'm going to try to spend way less money on so i have this little home finance book that i picked up quite a while ago and i found it when i was decluttering my basement so this is what i'm going to use and i will show you how i labeled out each month so basically when you open this up it's got a little like plastic folder type here i'm not using that at all and then it's got the different like intro pages, but I'm going to flip to January. So this is my January page and on all the pages it has like a notes page. I don't really need to use that for anything, but basically I'm putting all of the purchases I made down here. And this is like a little pocket folder. And then I'm going to print out all of my empties here. So this just says empties up here and this is the month January and this is just like the little folder pocket here and yeah so I bought a few things from Sephora here and I just labeled them out what they were and how much they cost so yeah it's basically that simple so my goals are to use up more products than I purchase each month. And also, not only that, but just try to purchase less and not have haul videos every month or two times a month. That's just ridiculous for me. I purchase all of these items with my own money. I don't get anything sent to me. I don't get any PR, nothing like that. I'm not an Octoly. I'm not an influencer. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. So everything that I get, I purchase myself or they've come from friends. Like for instance, I do have the Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this actually came from a friend of mine here on YouTube, Jax Lorraine. I can, or her name's Jackie, but that's her channel name, Jax Lorraine. I will link her down below if you guys are interested in checking her out. She's very, very similar to me. I love watching her. Anyways, that set aside, everything I purchase, I purchase myself. And I, you know, I work hard for my money and I work hard for the products that I get. And I've been trying to really hone in on products that I know I'm going to use and know I'm going to love. So that's the plan for this Beauties on a Budget. And so basically, as of right now, in January, I purchased $143 worth of products and I have used up $29. I have not done my empties for my second pack of my sample products and I also haven't done my empties for my main big items that I have. So that is going to be coming very, very soon. So make sure to check out for that one here coming up at the end of the month. But yeah, I really wanted to just kind of show you guys the basic breakdown of what I plan on doing. And I'll have a little bit more in depth and a little bit more trial and error and more things to say as the months go on. I plan on doing an update for you guys at the end of every month and then at the new year I'll kind of talk about my total overall progress and how I did in 2019 when that comes. That sounds so far away and it totally is but I have plans for this so I'm only going to be bringing this series out once a month so that you guys can kind of see how I budget and plan for things. Basically every month my husband and I both get an allowance so we each get $40 a week because we get paid every Friday. So, and I mean, that's whether or not we need more or less or anything like that, but I put that money aside and that's if I want a coffee at Starbucks, that's if I want a snack at the grocery store, that's if I want a piece of pizza that's not part of my dinner. I don't know, I don't really eat pizza very, very much at all. 
Um, but any like little extras that don't go into the grocery budget or don't go into um, just like our monthly everything we purchase budget. So, you know, every month I try to save up that $40 a week so that I can have money to spend on this, but I don't want to spend all of my money on makeup either because that's crazy. We're also trying to pay off debt, which obviously that's why we're on a budget and that's why I need to be on a budget myself. But I will try to find this same planner. I think I got this at Target, but like I said, I got it a couple years ago. I don't even know what year I got it, but I definitely got it a couple years ago. But I will try to find it and I'll link it down below. You can probably find this on Amazon as well. But I'll do my best to find you guys something similar to it. So if you want to do this with me, that would be amazing. Let me show you guys a close-up of what I'm doing here. So these, this is my spreadsheet of all of the empties that I have so far in January and that's my total amount. This is the number of products total. And then we go on to this category down here. This is all of the items that I've purchased, the price that I purchased them for and if they were the full price or a sale price. I want to kind of mark that down to see what I'm buying on sale and what I'm buying at the full price. And then this over here was my total amount for that purchase. So. This is just a little breakdown of what I've purchased already for January and the products that I've used up for January. And I figured that makes it really easy and I cannot fill, I can't go past these amount of numbers. So that's another thing that's going to kind of keep me in check for what I can purchase and what I can't because this only has 12 spots and I have to include samples, like free samples that come with the purchase order in this. So if I can't use up or if I have too many to fit in these 12 spots, then I can't get it for the month. And that's kind of another thing that I'm going to try to do too is, you know, really try to pay attention to what I'm purchasing and what I'm using up because if I'm purchasing 10 setting sprays and I'm only using up one a year, that's silly. That was just an example for instance because I actually have two that I'm almost done with. But so yeah, that is my plan for the beauties on a budget. Um, I don't know, project that I guess I'm doing. And I really hope that you guys come along with me. And if you do, make sure to let me know down below. And I can definitely tag you guys in the next video or link your channels below if you're also doing this to give somebody, you know, inspiration and, you know, just to not spend so much money, not be so con consumerism driven that. You know, we see something on somebody's channel, we have to have it. Like right now, I feel like I need the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette, but do I really need it? I don't know. I don't know, but I really want it. I'm just saying. Anyways, that's one thing that's been on my mind for a couple days now. And yeah, so I just want to be more conscious of what conscience? conscious of what I'm using up and what I'm not really using and what I'm purchasing and you know how long things are taking me like if I purchase something in January am I not using it up until December of the you know the next year I don't I don't know I'm so I'm really trying to be more specific and also this will help me with my inventory when I go to do my inventory again here in July I did my inventory for January, which you guys will see up very soon. And I'm really excited to show you guys that because I think it needs to be known. You guys need to know how much products people have because there's no reason that we should have all these products that we either use or don't use or use once a month maybe. I just think some of the products I have are silly that I even have them because I really don't use them. But on the off occasion that I might want it, I have it still. I don't know, it seems a little unnecessary to me and the more I think about it, the more I want to use my stuff up and really be conscious of what I'm using and just purchase things that I actually know I'm going to use or need or want. And having these subscription boxes also has been really eye-opening because I don't even use some of the products that I'm getting in there and I'm just putting them aside and saying, okay, I'll use it later and then I never do. Or I end up using it and I love it and I purchase the full size. But then I have a million other samples that I could have been using instead of purchasing the full size. So that's another reason why I'm doing my sample project pan, which I can link up above in the cards and down below as well for you guys if you are interested. But yeah, I hope that you guys come along with me on this Bob journey and just kind of figure out what you're using and how much money you're spending and how much money you're using up. I think it'll be really eye-opening at the end of the year to see 
what all we're doing with this project. I'm really excited. Let me know down below, like I said, if you plan on doing this with me, whether you're a YouTuber or not. And I would love to know your progress on how you're doing, maybe like in six months or something. But like I said, I'm gonna update every single month. So if you wanna update with me every single month, that would be amazing. I would love to watch your videos or just talk to you down in the comments below. So I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I hope you stick with me on this journey of the Bob, you know, beauties on a budget and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!